Hey, hey, this is Joe again with another movie review. So last time I'm going to be doing the Star Trek movie series. I'm not going to be doing the movie Star Trek Into Darkness because I haven't seen it. So I can't do a review of that particular movie. If I ever do see the movie, maybe I'll do a review. But well, for now, I'm going to be doing the 2009 reboot of Star Trek. So Chris Pine as Captain Kirk, Zachary Quinto as, as Mr. Spock, and Zoe Solander from Avatar in this movie. Plus, he had a special appearance from Helen Nemoy, the, the real Mr. Spock, in this film. And you see how he comes into, into this film. Well, this film came about because originally they wanted to reboot, the Paramount wanted to reboot the series. And you know that the next animation crew um, bombed out in terms of their movies. Then you had, and they did for some stupid reason, they didn't want to do a uh, movie series so in the Space Nine cast or the Star Trek Voyager cast. Uh, so, they, so they did, you know, wanted to do a movie series or movie franchise with Kirk, Spock, and McCoy and you know, the original cast. Well, they were trainees in the academy, because Star Trek Academy, or the academy is. Um, but that idea, they, they kind of did that in this, in this film, but, but they went almost in a totally different direction. What they did was they, they hired, they had Eric Banner playing as Romulan villain again with the Romulans. So the Klingons, they had the Romulans. Went back in time. Because it had, and he didn't know until like more than an hour, more than halfway through the movie, we didn't know what the actual plot of this film was. And that was, he had, uh, Romulus was being, had that kind of uh, problem, and S Spock trying to save, and then Nimoy, and Spock trying to save uh, the planet. But the plan was, by the last minute, he couldn't save it. And got sucked into a black hole and was destroyed. So this Eric Bannon plays this Romulan who, who was like a miner, who was on a mining vessel. So he had to get even with Spock and with the Federation. He was going to do the same thing, but his, his ship also got sucked into the black hole. Along with Spock's ship that he was using, back in time, in which Eric Banner confronted, or, or, or the Wilder ship confronted another Enterprise ship where Cook's father was on, and he ended up destroying uh, that ship, and Cook's father dies on that ship. But the big turning point was that Captain Cook was born on that particular day. His mother went into labor. And of course, they found out how he got the name Tiberius, which is the name of Kirk's grandfather on his mother's side. Or, or, or Kirk's, Kirk's grandfather. Kirk's grandfather on his father's side was named Tiberius. And then Tiberius, no, another name Tiberius. So my name is your father, James? Jim? Yeah. And they use the, the other grandfather's middle name. It's Tiberius. That's what it's called, James Tiberius Cut. And of course, you also find out uh, Spock's backstory a little bit. How it was picked on because he was uh, half human and half Vulcan. And of course, he has uh, Cook's Spock's father was in there, and he was raised by with a stepfather and a stepbrother and all that. And he was a hell raiser when he was a kid. And of course, he is laying away and was in the boy. He was trying to pick up Zoe Solander. He had been playing Uhura. And he got into a ball fight with our Starfleet officers. And Captain Christopher Pike, because you know who was the original officer on the Captain of the Enterprise. For those who know in the Star Trek history. And he convinced his cook to join the Federation and to go through the whole training and everything else. Which he did, and of course, you do see the sequence when Kirk changes the program for the Kong Reaction Move Test. 
which I'm kind of glad they did that in this film, and how he uh, became friends with McCoy, and because Spot Cook cheated on that on the Kamiyashi move test, of course we knew that. Well, we didn't know it was Star Trek too, but we knew in this movie film that can't change it. That Spock was the one that created that test. And of course, Spock got mad because he beat the test. And it, of course, accused him of cheating. And of course, they had a little library thing going on there. Because Chris said, well, you just mad because I, I figured out your, you know, how to, how to beat your, the system. And of course, because of that, they were prevented from. Oh, he was prevented from getting on the ship, and there was a point when Vulcan was being attacked by Nero, and the Eric Banner character. And of course, Vulcan gets destroyed, and because Kirk was fighting with Spock, Spock kicked him off the, got him kicked off the ship. Then that's in the break, but kicked off the whole ship. Then there's this other plan when he finds went into the real. Spock, and then Nemo, and then Nemo gets the whole Vulcan mind melt thing on, on Cliff, and he finds out what the whole system was. And of course, Cliff says, if you're from the future, explain me this, explain me that. And he says, all I can tell you is, no, give me like little bits and pieces of information. And also on this plan, he knew there was a Federation outpost there. They go to the Federation outpost and they found Scotty. But so anyway, he became friends with Scotty. And the older spot. So why can't you tell me everything? Because it will ruin the timeline. And so he says the timeline's already been ruined for what you told me. He said, yeah, but you can't be whole about it. He said, that's cheating. And, and Spock says, well, I learned that from an old friend. You. And the company actually removed that. So he had that, you know, that thing going on. And then, and then of course, what happens was, of course, the old ship came to Earth. It was about to destroy Earth. And then they, uh, of course, Kirk and Spock get on the uh, new old ship. They stopped the drill and they eventually destroyed the ship and killed the old and all that. And of course, they went in the end. And of course, Captain Christopher Pike, we don't want to have a Pike in the television series. So here they kind of changed it. He did. He does end up in a wheelchair in this movie. <coughs> Excuse me. Like he did in the television sh show on uh, the Menagerie. Uh, but this is the time he spoke, and he says uh, he transferred command from from Enterprise from himself to Kirk. That's the command over the Kirk because then he got the more as captain. For what he did, and he of course picked Spock as the second in command, and that's it. But then you do have uh, Kirk as, or Spock as the second in command. You also can look for, uh, I forgot the guy who played, uh, Sulu. But the same year that, you know, the Star Trek movie came out. Uh, do we show what thing was? I'm not exactly sure what his name was. But he, uh, came on a television show called Flash Forward. This aired on one, you know, in one year, on ABC, and he was in that episode. They so had this movie, plus a, a highly rated television show. Unfortunately, like I said, the TV show only lasted for one year because the ratings, because the ratings. But that's my review of the J.J. Abrams movie, uh, Star Trek. Well, like I said, I'm not going to be doing. The Star Trek and the Darkness movie, which came out earlier this year in 2013, because I never saw it. Uh, if I ever do see it, I do a review on it. But thank you for watching my Star Trek videos. And plan and maybe plan to do other ones. So please like my my video, comment on it, and subscribe to my channel. And thank you for watching. Catch you next time.